it seems like Prince Harry's desperate attempt to fit in with Hollywood's finest just hit a new low. Picture this. Harry, the Duke of Awkwardness, making a surprise appearance on Instagram courtesy of none other than Rob McElhenney. But it's not the pleasant Hollywood bromance you might expect. No, no, it's a tale of royal humiliation. Rob McElhenney, the It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia star, decided to bless our Instagram feeds with a snapshot of himself, Glenn Houghton, and, wait for it, Prince Harry. Oh, what a royal treat. In the photo, Harry dons a black shirt and matching blazer, trying desperately to fit in with his newfound Hollywood pals. The pic was taken at a soccer match between Inter-Miami CF and Los Angeles FC Stadium in LA back in September. Now, let's not forget McElhenney's oh-so-clever caption. Aside from that slight allergic reaction to the nuts, 2023 was one of the best years of my life. Ah, yes, the infamous nut incident that made headlines. But he doesn't stop there, folks. McElhenney goes on to thank the people and places that made it possible and claims his life is full of love and joy because of you. He's so excited for 2024 and, just to clarify, promises to stay away from the nuts. Bravo, Rob, for sparing us the nutty details. But here's where the real drama unfolds. In McElhenney's Instagram carousel, there's a throwback snap with none other than Ryan Reynolds. You know, the guy who co-owns a soccer team with Harry. But here's the kicker. Ryan Reynolds flat out refused to take a photo with the Duke of Sussex. Cue the awkward tension. Now, many commenters couldn't help but chuckle at McElhenney's multiple royal run-ins within the past year. They couldn't resist poking fun at Harry, suggesting that he's trying desperately to look like he's got a new crew in 2024. One user even quipped, Harry in a bar, he's never with the Invictus kids, looking for any reason to get away from them. Ouch, talk about a royal party pooper. But let's not forget that experts have weighed in on Harry and Meghan's quest to reinvent themselves in the public eye. Culture expert Nick Eyde believes that 2024 is a make-or-break year for the couple. His advice? Focus on one thing and stick with it, rather than trying to be jacks of all trades in Hollywood. Meghan, in all her Duchess of Sussex glory, should concentrate on lifestyle, beauty, fashion, and acting, while Harry, the Invictus Games guru, should stay true to his sporting and mentorship roles. It seems like a bit of a reality check for the couple who've been chasing the Hollywood dream. Speaking of Hollywood, their big Netflix deal has produced just two projects so far, and their Spotify partnership fizzled out, with an executive reportedly calling them grifters. Ouch! Maybe it's time for Harry and Meghan to go back to basics and focus on what they're good at. After all, the Invictus Games and Meghan's lifestyle projects might just be their ticket to curating a better public image. So, there you have it, folks. A royal faceplant at a Los Angeles bar, an allergic reaction to nuts, and a desperate attempt to fit in with the Hollywood crowd. Will Harry and Meghan ever find their footing in the entertainment industry? Only time will tell, but for now, they might want to stick to what they know best.